Hello, I'm Shouwen from Floating Leaf Tea. Today we are going to drink three oolong teas from Taiwan.、Um, they are Baozhong Tea, Oriental Beauty, and Dongding Oolong Tea. I hope by the end of the video you can get a wonderful understanding of what Taiwanese oolongs might be, and also hopefully you can get a, a clear glimpse of what we care about at Floating Leaf Tea. What a tea taste! I don't even know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> I hope you can also get a wonderful glimpse of what we care about at Floating Leaf Tea when we taste the tea. So let's begin. First, let's start with a、uh, Baozhong oolong tea. So, what is oolong tea? Oolong tea is defined as partially oxidized tea,、um, and this gets really exciting to me. Partially oxidized, that can mean the tea is oxidized for ten percent. It can go up to ninety-five percent. So the spectrum. Um, it's really wide. So normally, when a customer come to the store and say, "I don't like oolong tea," and I say, "That's not possible," because <laughs> you can say you don't like tea, because、um, the 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 taste the profiles are very wide. You, there's almost not one taste can define oolong tea. Anyway, let's taste the Baozhong oolong tea. Generally speaking, Baozhong tea is Process as a lightly oxidized oolong, it can be ten percent. I would say as high as twenty five percent. Okay, and let's see what a lightly oxidized tea can taste like and can feel like. Before I brew tea, I like to warm up the teaware, kind of to get your teaware ready, get yourself ready, and to wake up the teaware as well. So how many times can you brew a tea? It depends. It depends on your、uh, the size of your teaware. It depends on how much tea leaves that、uh, you put in there. So it really, really depends.、Um, for a we call this Gong Fu Cha style、uh, tea brewing. It means we use very tiny, small tea pots or、um, other teaware to brew our tea. For oolong, generally speaking, at least I like to pour five-inch fusions out of each tea.、Uh, today, due to the、uh, limits of our timing on the video, I think we are going to taste、uh, probably two to three infusions of each tea if if we can pour that off. First infusion on this Baozhong tea. Uh, I mentioned earlier on it was a lightly oxidized tea, so let's see what the tea smells like. I smell something fruity, actually, but not like、um, a dark fruit, more like a brighter fruit. It smells sweet. It also smells a little bit like wonderful cooked zucchini to me. <laughs> Sounds weird, huh? <laughs> And what is really fascinating when you go into this, I say, oh wow, you are talking about a lot of smells, and that's where a good tea is also really good in this front. If you are very nerdy about this,、uh, this tea is not scented or blended, and due to the process, it pour out a lot of different smells. So it's a very complex tea, and let's drink the tea. Hmm. It also tastes a little bit like,、um, almost remind me a little bit of like pineapple,、um, plus a little bit like、um, what is that fruit? 
I can remind you.、Uh, that really fragrant. Bai Xiang Guo, passion fruit. It remind me. I mean, it doesn't have all the passion fruit taste,、uh, all the pineapple taste, but you remind me of 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 those two fruits. Yeah, plus a little bit like zucchini and cooked squash kind of a feeling, and in and also a little uh, uh and some sweetness to it. At the first infusion, I talk uh, uh I I talk a little bit on the smell and on the taste, and it's really fun about the tea, and you should do that. Uh, second infusion, I would like to invite you, like if we just limit those teas, limit our teas to only taste and smell, I feel not all the fun is here yet, and we can justify, we cannot justify what really a good tea is. So second infusion, I would like to invite you on the smell. Still go on to smell what the tea smell like to you, and then if you can smell the texture of the scent, smell where the scent can go, the texture of the scent smell、um, feels sure smells feels、uh, soft to me, feels light, and where is it going? I feel it can pass my nostril with a lightness, and at first you might feel this is very confusing. And I will invite you also to、uh, try your other teas and then smell. You will notice a lot of tea smell actually only stuck in the nostril area. It wouldn't go beyond. It wouldn't go beyond that, and it's very fascinating when a tea. Can or cannot go beyond that. It help a tea drinker to start to see something that I call a structure of a tea from all different fronts. And then let's now let's go into the taste the tea. And you should still see what the tea tastes like. But just like the scent, I would like to invite you to pay attention to the weight of this tea, like uh W E I G H T. Like does it feel heavy? Does it feel light? Where is it landed? On your tongue only, or in the middle of your tongue only, or go on the side of your tongue? Okay. The tea broth feels like、um, light towards medium body to me. It hit the middle of the tongue and start to spray to the side of the tongue. You can I can feel the the presence of the broth to the side of my tongue really well. No problem. And、um, once again, if it feels like Confusing to you? Use other teas to drink side by side as a reference. It's really helpful that way. I can feel this tea lightly to the roof of my tongue too. Yeah. So that's also one of the、uh, structure of a tea is actually in the broth. And in the broth, I feel it's like one of the most important key criteria to pay attention、uh, to a tea is I don't know if you have the experience. You drink a tea and you lose memory. You drink a tea. A good tea should be able to the structure should be able to hold up there soon after you swallow it or long after you swallow it. Like right now, I can still feel the structure how it spread out of this Baozhong tea in my mouth. Okay, try that. And then let's compare it to the second tea and let's go on to the Oriental Beauty Oolong tea. Now I'm brewing tea number two, Oriental Beauty Oolong tea. And if you guys have the tea, you can see that the tea leaves look darker, more like reddish kind of color. Ah,、uh, that means either the tea has been roasted or the tea has been much more oxidized. And in this case, it's more oxidized tea. Ah,、uh, Oriental Beauty can range from sixty percent oxidized tea to roughly around eighty-five, and this one I would say in the middle, around seventy percent oxidized tea. And so that's. The same thing like Baozhong tea. Let's proceed to smell the surface of a, a brew tea. It smell darker than the,、uh, the Baozhong tea. It smell like、uh, dry rose flowers to me. It smell like sweet honey to me. It's very obvious on that one. And then let's drink the liquid. Taste 
it tastes like some sort of dark fruit actually and um there's a dark sweetness to it too like if i describe first tea sweet i'm referring like referring to like uh flower nectars kind of sweetness and this one the sweetness i'm more talking about maybe like dark brown is there such a thing called dark brown sugar <laughs> dark brown sugar <laughs> here you go dark brown sugar it's a new sugar just got invented by me and tastes like honey okay And if you guys are brewing the tea with me, you can see it has a beautiful dark amber color. And the first tea, Baozhong tea, feels golden green, kind of a light color to it. And just like the first tea, there's, they smell this Oriental Beauty tea. The texture of the scent, it feels still continue on the same theme, soft. However, it feels just a touch thicker and heavier than the Baozhong tea. It also passed my nostril quite well. It doesn't go all the way up into my head, but it passed, no problem. And I feel like the presence of the scent actually try to spread to this part. If you can do three-dimensional, uh, view into my body <laughs> maybe a little bit gross but you can see the scent start to spread this way just a little bit and it got a nice softness to it now let's drink the, the tea broth together mm. it for sure feels uh, medium body uh, first tea feels like light towards medium body. This one is it feels medium body. It feels dark. It feels dark. Uh, it lands on the tongue with a more, almost more dynamic, but it doesn't spray. It it because it, it doesn't only lighten us as the first tea, so it just stay on my tongue really well, and I only lightly feel on the side of my. Uh, my cheeks and my tongue on the side of my tongue. Mm. This tea feels like this way, just stay like this. So the puffness of this tea feel, um, I mean, it has that, but it doesn't feel as uh, easier to detect it as the first tea. Super fun. If you guys can compare uh, what the what a texture of a tea can play out in your mouth, you will not get bored with your tea at all. You'll be just sitting there and watch it all the time. It's really fun. Now let's proceed to our third tea of today. It's called Dong Ding Oolong Tea. As I mentioned earlier on, for each tea, I can talk for like two hours just on them for each given class. Uh, I will say for Dong Ding Oolong Tea, <laughs> You might not be able to stop me at all. It won't limit to two hours because I adore Dong Ding Oolong tea. <laughs> anyway, let's, um, let's smell the tea broth. How about that? Tea broth also smell fruity, but the fruit is in between the first tea uh, Baozhong tea, lightly oxidized tea, and the second tea, Oriental Beauty, a much darker oxidized tea. Dong Ding tea is actually right uh, around 20 to 35 percent oxidized tea, and so therefore it yield a really wonderful young fruit, uh, also young fruit kind of a, a smell and taste. And the farmer lightly roasted so it, it have a hint of a roasty kind of like grand grand roasty grand type of a smell and it, it is hidden underneath and you'll come come towards the surface when you smell it it's super fun and let's taste the tea mm. 
Mm, the roast is there. That wonderful, yummy, warm, toasty grain taste is totally there. And and so I think it's reverse us from the smell. The smell smell fruity first, and the toasty comes comes in sneaking. And this one is is like the taste is reverse. It's like toastiness, and then the fruit kick in. It's super fun. Mm, mm. <laughs> After you drink each tea, just sit there and see how much you can either taste the tea or feel the tea. We call that a part of aftertaste. A better tea will leave a much, much longer memory. A bad tea maybe will leave a bad memory. A okay enough tea will leave no memory. The moment you swallow it, boom, it's gone. This teas you can feel. Mm, I think I'm still tasting the tea. Then ask yourself, how are you tasting the tea? Are you tasting the scent? Are you tasting the flavor? Or are you tasting... No, I'm tasting my own saliva. <laughs> we call that salivation and don't panic, it's, it's true. This tea has a lot of salivation because it's so alive. So a lot of people think more oxidized tea equals the tea liquid will get heavier and heavier. It's actually not true. Dongding tea is only around 25 to 35 percent oxidized tea but you can see later let's let's dive into that a little bit you can see how heavy a dongding tea can feel the structure the scent just just go in to my nostril and then go into my head. I mean, you guys have to, <laughs> you guys have to smell this, to feel this, to be able to know <laughs> what we are talking about here. Some scent seriously just stuck here. Some scent will go. And it just lingers up and kind of send, um, actually a ch chilling, C-H-I-L-L-I-N-G like tingling, feel it into my body, even when I just smell the tea. The structure feels much thicker than the uh, first two teas. And it will flow up and it will flow into my throat. I call that the scent structure will actually split up into two, two ways. And I'm like a air. An air attendant try to tell you where to <laughs> go. <laughs> okay, let's feel the texture of the tea. Now there's a serious part of me. Mm. Dong Ding tea. This one, we call it Dong Ding traditional A. It just spray and puff at the same time. Spray and puff, it called it this. And it cover more parts of your mouth than both of the uh, previous teas, Baozhong tea and Oriental Beauty. It just is a really big presence broth tea. And you guys should try this. That's why I'm so excited with uh, this, this kind of a really dimensional, really big presence kind of a teas. It doesn't mean it's just heavy, like, uh, so you can ask me, like, do you just like heavy tea? This tea is not just heavy, because there are some heavy teas that is extremely boring. So if this is my tongue, some heavy teas will just land on my tongue and very heavy. That's it. It's boring. This tea is, it has a big presence. It lands on my tongue, puff this way and puff this way. So the structure have, have way more dimension and it's, it's just like, it goes underneath my tongue, it goes to the side of my tongue, it goes to the top of the roof in my mouth. Um, it just feels really wonderful, <laughs> if you can feel that. And before we close this, I would like to mention a little bit of structure. So we talk about the structure of the scent. 
stark or not stark going where and soft or not soft and then texture here does it stay here does it spread Dong Ding tea not, not just Dong Ding tea today we just use Dong Ding tea as an example because uh, we can present all the teas in our video Dong Ding tea is a great example of a broad structure that can move even further so let's take one more sip on this tea uh, if you have the tea please drink it together with me and please feel the moment that you are swallowing the tea there is a huge presence of the of the broth that open up the throat that you can feel something in the throat and so if you are brewing both Baozhong and Oriental Beauty please do not throw the leaves away yet go back and brew it and then and then drink the tea and see if you can feel see if you can feel them in here so the tea broth structure not just stay in the mouth it actually make it longer towards to the throat and sometimes you can feel it going down so the structure become much longer why is this important because it means a better tea is showing up there are some basic teas that will just stay here and feels quite good and all feels very good and some of the better teas that you are going to see, the structure of the tea uh, broth is going to get much longer. When you can see the length, you can see later practice to see dimension. And we can just leave it right here. Um, I say I like to open the door for people. And this is the door that I want to open for you. Any questions, please contact us at tea at floatingleaf.com. Uh, we are happy to help you. Also, get on our website. Sometimes we link classes on internet and you can do a live sessions together with us to drink tea together. Um, that's really fun. And I think the best way to learn tea is not just to listen to me talking. I think it can be quite entertaining. I hope so. <laughs> the best way to learn tea is to taste them. Okay, taste the tea, taste the tea with me. And if you don't have the tea, it's still not too late because the video will stay there. Um, you can look at the link on the video and you can buy the samplers of these three teas. And so I think that's it today. I'll just leave it right there. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and have fun watching the video. We'll see you next time. Bye.